I know you're wondering why it's just some quadruple cheeked up on the screen right now. I know, I know. What's good, family? Welcome back to the channel. We about to be giving this new video by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion a review real quick. It's titled Bongos. And I'm pretty sure we know why. You feel what I'm saying? But this is one thing I have to say. If you're ever wondering why this generation has the most promiscuous woman and also probably the most masculine woman, wonder no longer. They got to do with Megan Thee Stallion. They got to do with Cardi B. Freaking Sexy Red. They be talking about the most wildest things in these songs. And a lot of people, a lot of women specifically, they be taking it for like, like the truth and like their guidelines of life. It's just what it is. Or even if they not taking it like that, consciously, subconsciously they doing it. You know what I'm saying? It all, it all really started with the iconic WAP. The one, eh, uh, he? And now it fooled everyone into thinking that's where your value's at, where it's really not. You know, it's really not. I just, you know, if I'm in a relationship, I want a girl that's nice, trustworthy, loyal, calm. You know what I'm saying? Cooks and cleans. Which really opposes what Cardi B promotes. She said, I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you, I got this ring. You ain't getting no ring any other way, I'm telling you that. You know, hey, at least not from a dude that really appreciates a good woman. But look it. We're going to skim through this because we know last time I reacted to like a Cardi B video, they ended up copywriting the visual. I didn't even play the music, but they copyrighted the visual. So we already see how, what the first starting scene is like. It's a... Uh, you know, we already see what it's like. And then the second scene, what do we see here? So recognize this. Recognize this for real. First scene, we have women being very promiscuous. Second scene, we have men being very feminine. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he know, he's no bodybuilder. They out here wearing thongs. Obviously, there's some sort of agenda that's being pushed through this music video subconsciously. They're never going to tell you, oh, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to make you women more promiscuous and these men more feminine. So men could be more easily controlled. They're not going to tell you that. They're just going to they just gonna subconsciously put these images in your mind. Do you see what this man is doing in the back? You know? <laughs> Come on now. But let's not get it twisted. First line we have. Cardi B says... Nigga, eat this ass like a plum. That's the first line she better put. This ussy tight like a nun. What do you mean tight like a nun? Like a nun? Yo, all right, let's continue with the visual. Y'all see what's going on. The exact agenda that's being pushed in a lot of other music videos. Same thing with Lil Nas X. Have him being very, very feminine and flamboyant. And he wasn't even like that before he got into the industry. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he only got like that once he got into the industry and he ended up selling his soul. That's just the fact of the matter. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna just put it just like that. This is better. Chew it up like a gum. Then wipe your mouth when you done. I'm hot like Nevada. Ussy get popped pinata. Yo, since when did it, since when, probably since 2020, or a little bit beforehand, it became a flex for women to start popping their joints for anyone. Like, when did that become a flex, bro? Like, don't be deceived. That's no flex, no rewarding type of thing. That's not rewarding at all, bro. What the heck? It's look like money. You could print my face on a dollar. Beat it up. Bong, bong. Beat it up. Bong, bong. Pretty sure she's talking about her, her WAP game beat up. All right, let's see. Let's unmute it real quick. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow, got you, got you, got you. Hey, look it. I don't so. Su I really do. I don't support the thought culture. I really don't. I'm just making this video so we we can. I can. There has to be some resistance towards this thought culture, and this is why I'm making this video. Just keep it to keep it a full buck with y'all. To be completely honest, if there's no one resisting 
the whole culture that's upon us right now, we are going to be finito. Like, there's no coming back from this at all because, let's just be honest, people really look up to Cardi B. People really look up to Megan Thee Stallion. People really be looking up to these girls because they have a following. You know, they have influence. They have influence. There has to be some resistance towards what's being put out right now. And I would be the resistance. Don't be the... Come on. At least just... Don't... Don't just let anyone beat it up. You know, you know what I'm saying? Don't just let anyone do it. Who's getting kicked off? Every time I turn around, I'm just pissed off. All right, all right, all right. We get it. We get it, Cardi. She said, that ain't your man. That's both of ours. The bag he just bought me was a go yard. That ain't your nigga. He is both ours. Wow. Like a nun, kind of hunted up with my thumb. All right, all right, all right. So we have the, we have the second verse right here. All right. Little dusty ass hoes need a lint brush. You gonna settle down? You gonna live with, with him? What? I don't even want to post a pic with him. Back he just bought me was a goyard. Wow. See, people don't even realize what they be. She is literally going against having a family. And, like, the more people I talk to, the more people I recognize the fact that, like, yo, they're not even looking forward to, like, having a family like that. Like, marriage is not even a thing in mind. And, like, I don't, I don't listen to Cardi B. But this, it's making sense as to why more people are thinking in such a way. Because you say you're going to settle down and you're going to live with him What? Like, as in, like, what are you doing? I don't want to post a pic with him. The bag he just bought me was a go-yard. This... <laughs> this is straight ruthless. Bro. This is... No, this is straight ruthless. Bro, this next generation of people is going to be... Oh, my gosh. My generation is already far gone. I'm 22. My generation... I don't run... To be honest with y'all, like if I'm talking, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. If I'm talking to a woman, she's she's not from my generation. She's not. She's older. It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm just being completely honest with y'all. Because the ones in our generation are completely like their minds just completely diluted from this right here. And then younger, I don't want to get started with younger, because then they got sexy red talking about booty hole brown. You know, the rest of it. You feel what I'm saying? But this right here, going against the family structure. They don't want a family structure. They don't want people to actually grow together and have a happy family and children and, and a husband and wife and love each other. Nah, don't post a picture with him. I ride dick like a pony girl. That nigga look like a brokey. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Right, let's go to Megan Thee Stallion. Let's see what's going on here. Talking like they know me. Thick bitches in a black truck packed in. I just gotta skip it for copyright. Real life, real show life. me real love. Give a fuck about yeah. likes. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna, we gonna scroll down to Megan Thee Stallion's part. She said, I'm home, shoes getting kicked off. Every time I turn around, uh, I'm getting pissed off. Okay, this is Megan Thee Stallion's part right here. It says right here. These hoes camped out in the comments, always talking like they know they know me. Thick bitches. Oh, excuse my language. <laughs> excuse my language. Thick itches in the black truck, packed in. E whoever. I don't. Know, what is she even talking about? They know I'm thick, like I'm eating beans with the rice, like lean over rice, like lean over ice. Got the real meat pies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I be spilling like my. Ass out these jeans when they tight. I'm gonna need a money bag if I sleep overnight. Wait, what? And the way they watch me need to be monetized. I'm gonna need a money bag if I sleep overnight. Shoot your shot like a free throw. Just know this. Pussy ain't free though. 
I mean, at this point, are they just out here like promoting prostitution? Is that what's going on? She's literally saying her joint got a price. <laughs> like, that's literally what she's saying. She's saying that this down here has a price. That ain't free. Wow. My back shots sound like bongos. All right, we're going to leave this right here. We're going to leave this right here. Always just got to keep in mind that there are, I'm 22, but there are girls that are 18, 16, 14, 12, and 10 years old watching this video, right? It's YouTube. You got an iPad. You can watch it. You're going to turn it on. So like I said, if there is no resistance to what's being pushed and promoted in these music videos, we are going to be done for. So that's why I make this video right here, man. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do smash the like button. Oh, real quick. Dang, I forgot to, I forgot to, you know what I'm saying? I forgot to show y'all. Follow my Instagram, y'all. Follow my Instagram. Today I'm actually doing a cool little thing on my Instagram story. I'm bringing you guys through a day in my life from the moment I wake up, which is at 840, all the way to the time I go to sleep. So if you guys want to know everything that I do in one day, go follow my Instagram. And I'm posting more reels and everything like that. Show some love, show some support. And all Jacob TV, you can see it right here. Link is also in the description. And make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe if you do enjoy the truth. And turn on post notifications. I love y'all. Peace. I'm going to catch y'all.